Imagine stepping into a time machine, journeying back to the 4th century BCE, and finding yourself in the midst of a philosophical debate led by none other than Aristotle himself. This is not just a flight of fancy, but a conduit to understanding one of the most influential figures in the history of Western philosophy. Aristotle, a man whose thoughts have shaped and continue to shape our understanding of the world. One of his most significant works, Politics, is a riveting exploration of political communities. It's here that Aristotle delves into the very essence of justice, the ideal state, and the role of the citizen. His thoughts are not just abstract musings, but practical considerations that have influenced centuries of political thought. So, what makes Aristotle's politics so fascinating, and why does it continue to intrigue us thousands of years later? This enigma, my friends, is what we are about to unravel. Aristotle once stated, Man is by nature a political animal. But what did he mean by that? Well, let's dive into the heart of Aristotle's politics. Aristotle believed that humans are essentially social creatures. We thrive in communities, we rely on one another, and we are drawn towards forming relationships and societies. This, according to Aristotle, is our nature. From this perspective, the state, or the political institution, is not a man-made construct imposed on us. Instead, it is a natural outcome of our inherent social tendencies. It's a part of who we are. We are not merely in the state, but of the state, born into a web of relationships and responsibilities that shape us as individuals and communities. Now, Aristotle wasn't naive. He knew that states could be flawed, and that's where his thoughts on justice come into play. Justice, for Aristotle, was not merely about punishing wrongdoers. It was about creating a state where each individual could flourish, where each person could become the best version of themselves. This idea of justice was intrinsically linked to his concept of a successful state. In his view, the best form of government is one that seeks the common good. But this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. The common good isn't a static concept. It's fluid, changing with the needs and desires of the community. It requires a deep understanding of the community's needs, a commitment to fairness, and a willingness to adapt. Yet, the common good isn't just about providing for physical needs or ensuring economic prosperity. It's about creating an environment where each individual has the opportunity to fulfill their potential, to live a life of purpose and meaning. But what exactly is the common good? And how does this relate to our modern understanding of politics? These questions take us to the very core of politics, compelling us to question, to explore, and to engage in the ongoing dialogue about what it means to live together in a community. Because, as Aristotle reminds us, we are, by nature, political animals. Fast forward to the 21st century. How does Aristotle's politics resonate with us today? Let's delve into this conundrum. Aristotle's politics, steeped in notions of justice, democracy, and the common good, have percolated through time, shaping the contours of modern political thought. His ideas, far from being archaic relics, are vibrant threads woven into the tapestry of contemporary society. Aristotle's conception of justice, for instance, reverberates in our ongoing debates about equality and fairness. He believed that true justice is more than just the blind application of laws. Instead, it involves an understanding of the unique circumstances and needs of each individual. Today, this idea is echoed in our discussions about social justice as we strive to create societies that respect diversity and foster inclusivity. Democracy, another cornerstone of Aristotle's philosophy, continues to be a beacon for nations worldwide. His vision of democracy wasn't just about majority rule, but also about safeguarding the rights of minorities. This nuanced understanding of democracy, where the power of the majority is tempered by respect for minority rights, forms the bedrock of many modern democratic systems. Aristotle's idea of the common good also finds resonance in our world today. He argued that a just society should not just cater to the interests of a select few, but should strive for the well-being of all its members. This idea is mirrored in our current discourses on human rights, social welfare, and sustainable development. In essence, Aristotle's politics is not some dusty tome locked away in the annals of history. Instead, 
It's a living, breathing entity, continually influencing and being influenced by our evolving notions of justice, democracy, and the common good. So as we traverse through the labyrinth of Aristotle's politics, we find not only a reflection of ancient thought, but a mirror to our own political landscape. It's a journey that leaves us pondering. What is the true meaning of politics? Remember, the journey into Aristotle's politics is not just about understanding the past, but also about reflecting on the present and perhaps reshaping the future.